awake by waking up at six o'clock and taking a very early shower and uh, doing the laundry at seven o'clock. That's basically never happens and uh, yeah, it's not a preferable time to wake up, uh, but I had to because I don't have a washing machine at home and I had to do the laundry. After I loaded the washing machine, I still had time. Uh, so my working day starts at eight, but my washing, my laundry was for at seven. So between seven and eight, I still had some time. So I, I had like these short naps between, between, <laughs> between the laundry and eight o'clock. Uh, and of course, after that, I started to work right now it's a lunch time and uh, i prepared these eggs with uh, grilled grilled tomatoes i guess uh, today it's monday 22nd of april and it's super cold outside the weather is really shitty like excuse me i have my food here but the weather is so bad it feels almost like november uh, the air is really cold yesterday on Sunday and on Saturday it was snowing and I'm like okay I really don't like April weather in Sweden especially in Stockholm because it can't never decide what it wants it's either like spring or winter spring or winter spring or winter and it's super confusing you never know how to dress like if you look at my shirt, this is super thick shirt and it's not even hot for me. If I'm working from home, I obviously eat here. And uh, during the lunch, I have one hour lunch. I usually watch something on YouTube, either something super entertaining. Like for example, there is a Swedish influencer. Uh, her name on YouTube is called Hair Talk by Emily and she has super nice series called e Bodrum Skopet with XYZ. So that's like one of my favorite activities to do during the lunch. But right now I'm watching an interview. This one is from Silicon Valley girl, Marina Magilko. And she is interviewing the Rich BFF on financial literacy. So that's like a topic that I really like to watch about and to read about. We are going to discuss what is happening with each of us, how we can help each other. The second meeting is going to be with one of my stakeholders, where we are going to discuss one of the projects that we're working on together and uh, yeah, how we can help each other uh, and proceed with that project. And uh, the last meeting of the day is going to be with one of the new colleagues here in the office she just started quite recently so i booked a call with her just like hey you're new how are you doing let's get to know each other the meeting it feels like november cold you know when before the winter starts finally at home. Uh, the day was quite busy. Instead of having three meetings as I was talking about, oh my god, I have a spider on my wall. 
Okay, I will solve it later. So instead of having uh, three meetings, in the end, I ended up having five meetings and that's usually how it is. Uh, sometimes some meetings can come just like that and uh, normally it's okay because I try to keep my calendar sort of empty because I know that some things can come up so I want to be flexible with my calendar. Uh, what else? Okay, so it's Tuesday 23rd of um, April and as you see I'm having a sweater I'm having like a real, real sweater, very thick one. I, I have another long sleeve. This long sleeve is not that thick, it's like super thin, but still. And then I still wanted to feel like, you know, springish. So <laughs> I, I decided to wear these shorts and uh, use uh, leggings, but yeah, this is the look of the day today in my office. Today I am a little bit extra fancy because today we're having a really big event at work. I don't know if I mentioned it, I work at Salesforce and every spring we have a big event in every country where we have our offices, where we have our operations, a big event called World Tour Essentials. So now we are having it here in Stockholm and I'm planning to visit it. Today I'm working from home. I have quite a lot of meetings and it is much better to take these meetings from home uh, rather than being in the office and looking for a spare room where to have these conversations and stuff like that. Today, my today's agenda doesn't look very different from what I had the last days. Like a lot of meetings, a lot of things to confirm. There is one thing that I realized today only today is that after the event i went to the office and i didn't film that part then after the office i went to my pilates class and i was supposed to film that but i forgot it i think i was so distracted not distracted but i think i felt so tired after the event that we had yesterday so i did pilates but you didn't get to see it <laughs> couple of hours since I already finished my work. I think it was a great day. I had many meetings today and thankfully many productive meetings. Now between my work and this recording time I was editing my video for the vlog that came out last week for you. Uh, it's on Japanese hat spa. I had the opportunity to go there and to experience Japanese head spa at a place called Japanese head spa Stockholm. Uh, yeah, I know there is a lot of redundancy here, but that's how uh, as the salon is called. So I was editing that video and finally now I scheduled it and it's, it's live. If you want to watch it, you can go here and watch it. It's almost nine o'clock and I'm thinking, should I eat something? Should I cook something? Or should I start cleaning my home? It was some time ago that I cleaned. I was planning to clean it earlier this week, but I was so tired. I had headache and I had absolutely no energy and just 
it was just hard and i really didn't have any energy to clean but now i'm like okay i need to clean it for real and on sunday i am expecting guests and you know when for me personally at least how i work when i have guests at home i must have it clean i don't think that i am very messy person i'm not um, unless you like look for example on my desk my desk is pretty messy i think and i i can't do anything about it it's just it's never stuff i never put away to the same place where they're supposed to be that's the desk but the rest of the apartment i think i managed to keep it quite clean but still when i have guests I'm like, okay, I need to clean the apartment. I need to dust everything or clean the dust. I need to make sure that the sink in the kitchen is clean. I need to make sure, by the way, I clean the sink every day in the kitchen. I need to make sure that my bathroom is clean, that everything is clean. And that's the something that I've got from my mother when I was a child. Every time when we got our guests, it was like, okay, now it's time to clean, guests are coming, everything should be spotless. And since the childhood, I've got the same mentality. So I'm like, okay, I can't think of having people here and have a really messy place. So I'm like, I should clean, but I'm so tired. It's Friday and uh, can you imagine with what I will start my day? I will start my day by showing you the snow on the ground and it's 26th of April. I guess Sweden in a nutshell with unpredictable snow in April. Anyway, today I have a pretty empty calendar, not so many meetings. I just had two meetings so far now in the morning. Right now I just need to do a few like admin stuff and just work on some presentations uh, quite soon I'm gonna take my lunch and at the end of the day I'm planning to go and do Pilates training and i must say that it was super tough this uh, pilates exercise is for 50 minutes but these are like the hardest 50 minutes of the day each time i do it now i'm waiting for my tea to be brewed i am a big tea lover and uh, I, I, so i'm gonna eat and i'm gonna drink tea and if you're wondering why I drink tea with the food, because that's how Kyrgyz people do. If you are new here on the channel, I was born in Kyrgyzstan originally, and I'm from there, but I have lived in Sweden for 15 years, but obviously the, the culture of drinking tea has still, you know, stayed with me. So when I eat food, it can happen oftentimes that I eat it with with tea and not with the water and the same thing with the you know for example like eating cake eating sweet things i can't drink water with a cake it must be a tea or coffee like something warm so that's the plan what i'm gonna do now eat and drink and after that i think i'm just gonna relax and just start editing this video that i am recording now i started saturday by having a slow morning eating breakfast taking my time just to relax and watching youtube on the weekends i really really like to watch cecilia blumdahl she is a swedish but she lives in svalbard in norway 
island close to the North Pole. I find it super interesting to watch what life is like on Svalbard and uh, I hope that someday I will be able to travel there and explore that island. I also was watching on YouTube some information on what kind of camera I should buy for making videos on YouTube. The, my old camera that I used to have, Canon M50, I decided to sell it because it was already time, I think, and it, it got a bit old. So now I'm doing research on another camera that I could buy. And I think I've got some ideas, but I'm not really sure. I need to do more research. And finally today, I finally, finally cleaned my apartment. I was talking about cleaning apartment like this whole week. At least I was talking to myself that I should be cleaning, but I didn't have time or I was tired or it was, I found some other excuses, okay? So finally today I took my time and uh, I cleaned the apartment. To be honest, it doesn't take a lot of time to clean, maybe like one hour but you know just getting started is the hardest part but once i started it was pretty good and now i'm done and my apartment is clean and tomorrow i can have the guests my guests are gonna be my mother and my mother's friend good sunday morning Today I woke up a little bit early because as you know, I'm gonna have guests today and before the guests, we are gonna go out and do our stuff. So after that, I thought they can come here and hang out. And of course, when people are over here in my place, I always try to offer food and to, to prepare something. So I decided to do a plof. And for those of you who don't know what plof is, plof is a very common Central Asian dish that basically everyone can do, I think, can make. It's very easy to make. So when you know that you have guests over, this is like the first dish that comes into your mind because it's super easy to make. It just takes a little bit of time. So this dish consists of meat, onion carrot and rice Th this is like this these four ingredients and of course like it's salt spices whatever so the plan for me now is to make the prep of this dish i'm just gonna prepare the meat onion and carrot part because obviously meat takes a lot of time to prepare like one hour one and a half hours i need to make sure that the, the meat inside here the carrot and the onion are prepared uh, first, what I'm do is I need to fry this. Uh, I need to fry all these ingredients and then I put the water so it can boil a little bit so the meat can prepare together with all these spices, uh, with onion and with the carrot. So when this thing is prepared, I'm gonna put it aside and probably put it on the balcony because it is quite cold still and uh, leave it there and then when we come back i will continue making this dish and put rice inside because rice takes literally like 15 minutes uh, to prepare and i think what what is always usually good when you serve this dish it is always of course good to serve it fresh i wouldn't want to make it now and then warm it up and then hustle all of this so that's that's the reason and this is, I think, very common solution for people who live in Kyrgyzstan, Central Asia in general, that when we have guests, we usually do this prep part. And then when it's time, when we know, okay, everyone is here, everyone is gathered, now it's time to eat, then we put the rice and it takes 15 minutes and then it's done. It's the 
end of the day for me it's half past 10 and my parents plus my parents friend they just left it was a very nice sunday it's a very nice way to end this week by you know hanging out with your family and eating dinner talking drinking tea watching tv and just enjoying each other's company thank you very much for being with me this whole week and watching what i'm doing i'm not really sure if this kind of content is interesting for people because i personally don't think that i have a very like extraordinary life uh, you know rich with different kinds of events usually like i wake up i go to work i have my meetings and then i can come back home and that's that's like my life uh okay thank you very much for watching this video and uh see you